persuasiveness. If you're going to be successful as a leader, you have to be able to persuade other people. You can't be a leader without followers. How do you get followers? Well, you have to persuade them by being an effective talker, by being an effective writer, or by leading by example. Let me give you some examples of people that have done this quite well. Nancy Pelosi, elected to a member of the House of Representatives from San Francisco. No woman had ever been a leader in the House of Representatives. She became not only a leader of her party, became the Speaker of the House. She did that by being very persuasive to her members about the things they should do. And in fact, she became the most effective leader the Democrats have had in generations. The same is true of Tim Cook. In Tim Cook's case, he succeeded a legend, Steve Jobs at Apple. And when he succeeded him, many people said, Tim Cook, you're very nice, but you can't be Steve Jobs. And Steve Jobs was a unique person. There's no doubt about it. But Tim Cook said, I am not Steve Jobs, but I have other ways of doing things. And he persuaded the people to give him a chance to let him use his different style of leadership. And it worked. As a result, Apple today is four times as valuable as it was when Steve passed away. So if you're going to be an effective leader, you have to be persuasive. There are different ways to do it. Nancy Pelosi was effective in persuading people to follow her using one technique. Tim Cook was effective in getting people to follow him using another technique. There's no one right technique, but to be a leader, you have to be persuasive. You have to make certain that people will follow you. And that's what great leaders do.